double vaccinated and doing the tango. Sue Lanoff de Cuevas is back at what she loves best. The retired academic, who gives her age as well over 70, calls herself a tango addict. Some types of dance don't require the constant contact, but tango's not something you can do at a social distance. Lanoff de Cuevas and her partner here, teacher Hernán Brizuela, communicate mostly through touch. She tried taking classes online, but yes, it takes two to tango. You can exchange smiles and ideas with them, but it, there's no substitute for the actual touch. But the dance floor is not yet fully open at Medford's ultimate tango school of dance. Group classes are still virtual. It's the same at senior centers around the state. Most remain closed. But with vaccines under their belts, many seniors are feeling emboldened to travel. Industry analysts say between the vaccine and pent-up demand, domestic flight bookings by the 65-plus are way up. Right now I feel wonderful because I, I feel like I'm protected. I have laid low and in June I will go to my son and his family for my birthday in Colorado. But 84-year-old artist Joseph Caparco isn't yet ready to hop on a plane. I feel more protected, more able to travel just a little. I don't mean on a plane yet. A little more that you can do, you now can do and feel safe as long as you wear your mask. 67-year-old Elifa called any worries about the vaccine bull. I feel good. I feel secure. I go where I have to go. I Basically, I take this for my grandbabies, to be with my family, you know? This way here, I know we're all safe. But with so many younger people not yet vaccinated, Alifa and other seniors are still keeping a watchful eye. Even with the majority of the states over 65 vaccinated and cases among the elderly dropping, they've been rising among people under 30. Um, I feel a little bit more secure, but I haven't really done anything different. <laughs> yet. On his way to his first vaccine, 68-year-old Lance summed up the caution. You got to be safe, regardless. I'll probably feel a little bit freer, but I probably won't act a little bit freer. <laughs> Lanoff de Cuevas doesn't dance around her feeling about the vaccine. Just the tremendous relief of no longer being worried that you step out the door and you're felled by this disease. It's wonderful and it allowed her to dip her toes back into life. Liz Neeslaus, GBH News.